Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and today Razer announced something pretty cool, and that is a new Xbox One controller. That is right, this new controller is called the Razer Wildcat, and most people are familiar with Razer products when it comes to the PC side of things, or are probably not aware that they've actually made a couple controllers in the past for the Xbox 360, so it was a matter of time before they'd done something for the Xbox One. And I gotta say, this controller with some of its features and the stuff that it includes is actually really good. I feel like this is kind of a tough choice between this one and the Xbox Pro controller. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over the information. First off, this controller is going to be $150, which is the same price as the Xbox Pro controller. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a release date quite yet, but you can go to the site and notify, which I'll have a link in the description down below. And here are the specifications. It includes two shoulder hyper-response multi-function bumpers, two removable hyper-response multi-function triggers, four hyper-response A, B, X, Y action buttons. And for those of you who don't understand by hyper-response, it's basically the same, uh, I forget the actual name of it, but it's what they use in the Razer Black Widow keyboards, you know, the little clicks and stuff like that, where it pretty much gives you um, the action that you need to perform very quick. I mean, a lot better than a membrane, for example. Uh, this also has optional trigger stops for rapid fire, zero slow turn analog sticks, a 3.5 mm audio port for stereo audio output and microphone input, an optional rubber palm grips where you could choose to put the uh, you know the grips on or off, which I think is really cool. Quick release cable features, so if someone happens to be walking in the room and steps on your cable, it's just going to break away instead of dragging your console with you. Always nice. Um, you also have a carrying case, a detachable 3M by 10 feet lightweight braided fiber cable with a micro USB connector. And then the rest is basically going over the weight and size. But like I said, this controller looks really, really cool. But what do you guys think? I mean, honestly, between this one and the Xbox Pro controller, which is kind of similar, but without the hyper response. And I think also the other difference is that you don't have the removable uh, palm grips and stuff like that. But what do you guys think? Which one do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, honestly, if I were to choose, I'd probably go with the Razer one because it seems a little bit more uh, responsive. Because like I said, I've used one back in the day on the Xbox 360. It was a Battlefield 3 themed one. And I really like the controller. So this one definitely looks like a much bigger improvement overall. So I'm really excited. But like I said, let me know what you're going to get in the comment section down below. But until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.